Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of voicebootcamp.com. In this particular video series, I'm going to show you how to deploy Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise 10.5 with CVP integrations. Now, before we can uh, start installing Contact Center uh, components, we need to prepare the Windows 2008 server with the necessary updates and configuration so that the Contact Center Enterprise installation goes smoothly. The topology that we're going to work on is where uh, you have quite a bit of servers in your network with a couple of voice gateways, phones, and uh, in a cloud uh, environment. So here we have an example, a flat network with site A and site B, so that's two separate Windows uh, 2008 server. We have a call manager server, we have CVP and poten uh, potentially PG installed on one box. We have CVP and PGB for site B. We have Cisco Finance for agent to use to log in and accept calls. We have CCMP, uh, which is management portal for managing the system. And then we have Cisco Unified IC, which is uh, intelligence center or more for reporting purposes. We have social miner for email management. Uh, we have Cisco SIP proxy server, and then we have Cisco router that is acting as voice gateway, VXML gateway, as well as PSTN gateway. We do have a, a PSTN phone so that you can send calls and receive calls from the PSTN uh, network into our environment. We have two agent phone, and you can always register more agent phone from your laptop remotely over the VPN cloud that we are, we're going to have. Now, the site A and site B has actually four different network. We have one network that is uh, representing the private normal network. We have private high for high priority traffic. And then we have a public normal for normal traffic to contacts and the enterprise through the public site. And then we have public high, which is for high priority traffic. Each one of these network must be associated with the proper naming conventions and a DNS and host name mapping. Uh, if the host name does not map match to the proper IP address, then what happens is your contacts and enterprise services could uh, crash. The call manager, all, all these servers has been installed the base config. So the Windows server is just simply Windows. It has um, all the updates necessary from Windows Microsoft Update Server, and it also being uh, configured with the you know basic security and the password. I'm going to walk you through how each one of these servers are customized. 